Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. Uh, match day vlog today. We're supposed to be going to Oriel Park actually to do Dundalk and Shamrock Rovers, but there's a protest going on with the Dundalk fans. Not going to get into too much details about it, but uh, basically, you know, no displays from the Dundalk fans tonight. Uh, there'll be no singing from the, the Dundalk Ultras either, so unfortunately, I didn't think it was a good idea to go up. Um, we'll get there soon, though, if you're a Dundalk fan, I'm sure. Um, so we decided to divert and go to Talca Park to see Shelburne and Derry. We were here er earlier on the season when Shelburne played host to Derry, actually, and it was dreadful weather. And the weather isn't great today, but um, it was dreadful. It was rain in the whole match, and Derry came away with a 1 0 win, didn't they? They did, yeah. They did come away with a 1 0 win, and you know, not too many chances in the game. Both teams, Derry. Struggling to score goals, struggling to create chances. Uh, Shelburne, I know they don't score goals either, but that's more of a case of in general, in general, and the way they set up. But with Derry, they're, they're struggling big time in front of goal. I watched them against Shamrock Rovers on Monday, and they were very blunt. Uh, Shamrock Rovers, you know, didn't have to be anywhere near their best to win the game. It was disappointing from Derry, um, you know, and they really have to win tonight. They really do. They could win it. We all know that. But I'm expecting another tight game, a nil all, a one nil, or one all, like, you know, that kind of job. Um, this time, I think I predicted Derry to win it the last time, Nick, but this time I'm going for a one all draw. Billy, what are you thinking of the game overall? Obviously, the. Uh, the new owners <clears throat> had a press conference today as well in Dublin and uh, you know they said kind of stuff that's going to appeal to people like there was nothing very political stuff let's say now you know these things could come true etc etc but there's nothing it's hard to take a lot from it the one thing I did take from it however was the fact that um, having looked at it there the fact that he said it's almost like an entirely different project to hold a separate. So it'll be interesting to see if that ends up being the case. But Billy, the match itself, obviously Shelburne basically mid-table, not really in relegation trouble, not really going to threaten the European spots. Derry, um, you know, they're only, their level of pots are only three points out of Dundalk, but they're seven points behind Shamrock Rovers. McIlhenny out, Duffy out, uh, doesn't help their cause either when it comes to creation. But what are your thoughts overall with Derry and Shelburne, Billy? I think it'll be a 1-1. Copycat. Uh, I think I don't I don't really know how this game is really gonna go. I think there's gonna be like a few chances for each team, and I think that they'll like they'll just take one each. I think for the game itself, an early Shelburne goal will be interesting. Be say, you'd be saying it can Derry break them down type thing. Um, I think that would be interesting. I do think Shelburne got a player sent off. Didn't name this fixer last time as well. Um, sorry lads if you're a Shelburne fan and Derry fan you're screaming at going yes that did happen or whatever but so many games you go to you forget but I'm pretty sure that was the case but really looking forward to it now guys we'll see us in there Thoughts half time, Billy? Boring. What? Boring.
Is it boring now? No. <laughs> Right, Shelburne won, Derry City won, Tosca Park, uh, an electric rip roar in the second half after an awful first half. We were going to uh, take all the footage out of the first half and just put in footage of the second half. No, seriously, the change at half-time to bring Boyd on was a massive difference in the game overall. It had a massive impact on both teams, actually. Uh, first of all, Boyd scores with a lovely header, to be fair, brilliant diving header, as you can see in the video. Um, but it allowed Moylan to drop deeper. I need someone to work with, and how do you think they done together, Moylan and Boyd? I, I think uh, Boyd done a big difference in the second half. Like he, he impacted the game, he made the game lively, and obviously he said the diving header was a very good header, power uh, right in the corner, like you're not stopping it. And yeah, I think Moylan and um, Boyd they work so good together. I think when Sean Boyd and Moylan are playing like. I think they just there's there's just something that clicks. They look better, yeah. They've better chemist, good chemistry, better attacking threat, didn't they? Like in the first half, for example, very deep, uh, very workman like long balls to Moylan who was feeding on scraps basically. Um, that was the big difference in the second half. And Boyd came on. It made a big difference to Derry because it was a bit more open than for Derry as well, to be honest. 
Um, and Ben Doherty scores a fantastic goal, doesn't he? It's a very good goal. Derry will be disappointed with the point, but I think in the circumstances, they're going to have to take it because Adam Riley's red card, hard to know if it was red or not, uh, meant that they were clinging on a little bit in the last 10 minutes or so. Um, and Shelburne be a little disappointed maybe they didn't go on to win the game, but the intensity in the second half compared to the first half, really both ways, both teams, was a massive difference, and the crowd got going, the atmosphere is better and everything as well. Massive, massive difference. The moment of the match for me was when Shells were one up. You talk about the chemistry there between Boyd and Moylan, brilliant link-up yeah. play. I think you see that in the video as well. Brilliant move, all-round play, and a brilliant save by Mars. Just all-round, it was excellent play, and I think everyone in Talkerback appreciated that, didn't they, Billy? Yeah. I think they all did. Um, I thought though the first half like just nothing happened, like it was mm. boring. The second half like just everything just mm. came up a click, and then I thought the atmosphere was better in the second half. Yeah, well, in fairness to, to the to the fans, probably both teams it actually happened. really. Yeah, I mean you have to. There was nothing happening in the first half, and you know it's difficult to get yourself up for that. So the early goal helped there as well, and the atmosphere was good in the end, but. Man of the match, I think, between us, we decided to give it to Jack Moylan, uh, mainly because Ty Dunno okay in the first half linked up brilliantly, brilliantly with Boyd in the second half. Um, Boyd's impact, of course, was massive, but probably only on for 45 minutes. I'll give it to Moylan. Would you agree with that, Billy? Yeah, I'll agree, because yeah. he played the full 90 minutes. Mm. Look, we'll leave it there, guys. Tell the people what they should really, do. Really By the way, just before we go, actually, just before we go, yeah, Billy's going to raid the atmosphere now overall but uh, it's nice to meet some shells fans tonight who watch the channel so um thanks very much basically guys for watching the channel and again nice to meet you um billy rate the atmosphere i think it was an eight because i thought the second half of like like everyone was up as soon as sean boyd scored mm. and then just the first half like there wasn't really much but it's not their fault because nothing happened though so like i'll give it an eight Right, so tell the people what should do. Uh, okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to push in notification bell for more awesome videos. Good luck. <laughs>